how is this not a showman's? Ballsy start from Judy. I'm going out on a limb, I know. Dating Joey. He's going out on a limb dating me. It's a risk, and we're willing to take it, because we clearly like each other. We know we like each other. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a showman's, what you're calling it. You're getting quite annoyed at it being called a showman's, and I don't no, understand that. No, I'm not. I don't that. care like, what people think. If people think it's a showman, it's good. It hurts that they don't think that this is real. Why can't they just accept that I like her and she likes me? You realise I'm analysing your body language as well? In a good way. Yes, so. I'll tell you in a minute. Ugh, not this whole body language thing again. Why are you looking at me like that? This is what I'm saying. This is why I can't even talk. Could you it's not... like, there's so much negativity in this it's room. If I, was psychic, if I was psychic, there'd be a lot of devils in this room. If you were psychic, you'd be able to plan your sentences better. <laughs> I think what is probably interesting is the negativity from both of your body language. For my money, you both show a lot of irritation. You don't like talking about your relationship that much. Because he's so early on. We ain't going to just sit but here and you're start... already committed. And that's, so that's, much that's is riding on So what do you want to know? Like, we're perfectly happy, to be honest. These questions that I'm asking you are questions that you should be asking one another. I, I don't feel that... But we have. We have talked about this. We have, yeah. We know so much about each other. I just wonder, Joey, because is it true to say you've got a short attention span? Yeah, he cannot watch TV. Yeah, there you go. Stephanie, you've written a best-selling book, haven't you? That must have taken quite a long attention span. Yes. Well, you wrote your own book, literally? Literally. Oh, yeah, well, no, you've got a ghostwriter. No. <laughs> no way. No love about each other. Why would you know everything about each other, don't you? Busted. Jesus, like, I don't know everything about the girl, do you know what I mean? You just said you did. That's I all I'm doing. I do not know everything about this girl, and no, I don't. She don't know anything about me at all. Joey, you're getting defensive. Don't know how much my mortgage is. Jesus, please. Of course I'm going to be defensive. Like, they're trying to tell me how I'm thinking. Thinking already hurts right now. All this negativity is screwing with my mind. Oh, poor sod. Please don't be disrespectful to Judy or I'm me. Not being disrespectful but to I know you are, and it's really starting to annoy me because we haven't done anything wrong. We're going by what you said, Steph. You told us you didn't like Joey, and now you're saying, oh, we're in love, we're in love. Is this bullshit or what's going on? Nadia, get the fuck over it. I didn't intend to like Joey, but it's what's happened. Just be happy for us. It's all got a bit tense, isn't it? Joey, you said you were looking for assault. What does assault mean, Stephanie? Just a really nice girl. I have no idea. Well, I don't it's know obviously a, it's obviously says. a fit girl, isn't it? Well, I'd like to know what Stephanie thinks assault is. I would, I would guess hot. I see you as a lot more complex than that. In terms of compatibility to round up, Try. I like you and I like you. I don't like you together. And that's the truth. I don't think they like you, Judy. It's something about their body language. Joey is a, a very open guy, quite an uncomplicated life, and you're very complex, and that worries me. This is brutal. I do feel that the two of you have actually looked at the outside world of dating and deciding it's safer back in the world of celebrity. That worries me. That absolutely worries me. And for that reason, I'm going to give you a 20% score. Well, time will tell, won't it? That's, it's true, and time will tell. That Judy could start a row in an empty house. Like, this is just so pointless. Yeah. It is pointless. Can I tell you? You guys are trying to start shit, and that's not cool. Have you guys had sex? No. You need to. This is utter bullshit. Screw the compatibility test. The agency can fuck off. Despite the fact that me and Brad couldn't physically talk to each other, I've actually had a really good time.